Now we will explore the tool called Revolved Boss and Base. This is a tool that rotates a contour about an axis line and creates solid body. Let's look into an example. Okay. I am selecting the front plane and creating a new sketch. Let's say I am creating the center line first, uh, midpoint line. And now I have a vertical line. With respect to this, let me create something similar to this. Okay. Let's make it horizontal. How everything is horizontal with respect to that. Okay, so we will be using this axis and we'll be rotating this contour we have here around this axis to create a solid object. That's the goal. Okay, okay. Uh, let me complete the contour here. Now we'll we'll go to the features, select some this one called revolve boss and base. Okay. You see, SolidWorks has automatically selected the center line uh, and it has also created the revolve uh, of that completed contour. Okay. And as you can see, this is how it looks like. Okay. Um, let's modify the design a little. Okay. Uh, let's say we will have something. to make it a little different okay once you select that solidverse again will automatically identify which is the axis of it if it doesn't let's say for some reason it, it doesn't select it for you you can always select this box on the left property manager and select the axis for you so okay now similar to extruded boss and ways you will also have this option here for in the direction so if you have other vertices surface or if you want to do some offset you can do similar to what we have been doing on the extruded boss and base you can also select what will be the revolution of the object you're creating let's say you want to revolve it to only 180 degree so half of the object will be created as you can see it hasn't created a 360 degree revolve and that's how the object will look like Sometimes you might need something to be created for a certain angle and you might want to create those okay, for some dome or something else. Okay. You can also create these objects as a thin feature. So to do so on the left property manager, you can just select this thin feature and select how much millimeter you want for that. Uh, it's, it's, it should be a millimeter, right? Yeah. And create that but for this for example what we can also do is let's say in one side you want 90 degree angle and for example let's say we select a direction to um, there let's say you only want a 10 degree rotation okay, which is a little bit going over something like this and just once you're done click ok and you will have your object that have created using the revolve option if you want to edit it later on just select the feature itself right click on it and select this which is called edit feature okay i'm just gonna change it to 360 degree so that we have a complete object revolve object and here we go here's the object we were looking looking for okay just to do another example for the same tool let's say you want to create uh okay what was i doing a plane let's say i'm selecting a plane i'm just making it let's say a little far away let's say you want to create a sphere okay how do you do so to create a sphere what you need to do is have a center line let's say something like this Okay, let's do something. First, select the plane here, right click on it. Uh, you can also do is wait, 
select this sketch here right click on it and you will see this option called normal tool if you click on it it will show you how it looks like okay so this is the center line we have created i'm just going to select it and make it vertical okay now i'm going to select the center point arc from where we can create let's say we want to create something like this a half circle of it okay so this is what you have here right uh, now we can just complete the contour itself and if you select go to feature revolve boss and base okay uh, it has already automatically selected everything for you click ok and here is this sphere you have created okay